doing really well. So because it has been so freaking cold in Canada, I thought today we would make a red Thai curry. Now, I've never made this dish before, but I thought today was a perfect day to make it. It's snowing outside, it's like super windy, and it's really easy to make. So if you're a student and you're on a budget, this will take no time at all, and it's very budget friendly. And if you're wondering why did Jackie get such high quality video all of a sudden, it's because I have a camera guy, Vin. Yeah. <laughs> and he is also vegan, so he's gonna be eating this too. But it's really easy to make and super delicious, so if you wanna see how to make my Thai red curry, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is drain my tofu. I'm using firm tofu because soft tofu is just going to break apart in the curry. What I'm going to do is actually prepare some veggie stock. So I'm using a no salted added vegetable bouillon cube. Uh, you could use vegetable stock, but I'm just going to prepare this right now so we're ready to go and make the curry really easily. So I'm actually just crumbling in about half of this. And I'm just going to let that sit aside and we will use this when we actually start to prepare the red curry. So my tofu has had a chance to dry. It's okay if it's not perfectly dry or anything. You know, the more moisture you get out of it, the better. Like I said, I have one block of tofu here and I'm just going to cut this into cubes. So I'll start off with half of it. Try to make the cubes as even as possible so that way they all cook evenly. And you know what? We're hungry today. Vince and I are hungry. So I'm going to cut up another slice of this. Alright, so I'm going to turn on the heat. I actually should have done this a couple minutes ago. And just taking some flavorless oil, I'm adding about a teaspoon of that in. But on a medium heat, just let the oil heat up and then we're going to add in our tofu. While our tofu is cooking, we're gonna prepare our veggies. Now, like I said, this is extremely student friendly, so we're gonna be using a lot of frozen vegetables, but we are gonna be chopping up one medium onion. Now, a little tip for everyone, onions are the worst because they make you cry and no one likes that. So what I would highly suggest is before actually cooking, let it, let like the onion you're gonna use stand in the fridge like overnight or like two hours before you actually start chopping it. and It'll prevent you from crying. Being an idiot, I am, forgot to do that this morning. All right, so I'm gonna use about three medium to large cloves of garlic. If you really like garlic, add more, but oh my God, I'm still tearing up from the freaking onion. And all we're going to do is just get this a little whack and we're going to peel these. So now I'm going to be taking one red chili. Thai red chili works best. We don't have Thai red chili here. These are just red chili peppers. Um, if you don't like spice, you can omit this stuff because we're also going to be using Thai red curry paste and that we'll get a little bit of spice from. Um, but Vince and I like spice. So I'm gonna take off the tip of this and I'm gonna use just half of one for now. So our tofu has just been cooking and as you can see, it's gotten a little bit brown. So what we're gonna do is we're taking a plate and we're just going to set that aside. So we're gonna let that sit aside and we'll add that to our curry shortly. So now I'm just gonna leave this on a medium heat. You could use coconut oil, but we're using coconut milk and I don't wanna make it super coconutty. Right, so now we are going to add in our onions. So the next thing we're going to do is take some red curry paste. Now this is Thai red curry, you can't see it because there's a giant sticker over it. And in this there's like lemongrass and ginger and garlic and red chili of course. And this is where we're going to get a lot of flavor from. So in the past I've been a little bit skimpy at this part, but I'm going to be adding, that's about two heaping tablespoons. To this, we're gonna also add in our garlic. Now I'm using one of these like fancy garlic mincer thingies, which definitely makes your life a lot easier. So now that I've gone ahead and added in all the aromatic flavors, I'm going to go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of soy sauce. And we're also gonna add in some grated ginger. 
I actually freeze my ginger and it makes it a lot easier to actually grate it in if you freeze it. So there's another pro tip for you. If you want a full list of all the ingredients and the recipe, I will have a link to a blog post down below where you guys can find all that information. All right, so right now I'm just adding in some frozen veggies. You can use fresh, but this is student budget friendly. I'm using this Japanese mix, which I don't understand what makes it really Japanese, but I don't know. There's some man that green giant that this is his job, so. So I'm just tossing these in and letting them get all that delicious flavor. Now I'm going to be adding in this coconut milk. Um, don't use coconut cream, make sure it's coconut milk. And I'm gonna add in about one cup of that. I'm gonna also be adding in my vegetable stock that we did earlier. And I have about one and a half, I have one and a half cups, right? Yeah, there's about one and a half cups of uh, vegetable stock. So I'm just gonna add that in. But I'm only gonna start off with a cup for now. I don't want this to be very liquidy, but I'm gonna let all those flavors kind of get acquainted with one another. And I'm just gonna let that bubble away. And then once that has kind of reduced down, we're pretty much done and ready to serve. This has now been simmering down for about five to 10 minutes. The longer you cook it, like low and slow, it's actually just gonna develop its flavor. But yeah, I just went ahead and let this reduce down a little bit. And now I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of salt, just a pinch. Like it doesn't need a lot of salt. Be tasting it like along the way. You might wanna add in like more soy sauce or tamari, depending on what you use. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is just finish this off with about half of a lime, and this will just brighten up all those flavors. So I've gone ahead and just scooped some Chinese rice into a bowl. You can use like rice noodles, that would be really good, but I'm just using rice today. And then taking a spoon, I'm just going to ladle our red curry so then to garnish everything i'm going to finish it off with some chopped green onion and then i'm also going to finish it off with some red chili just to make it look pretty obviously you don't have to eat these because they are spicy and then i will also add some slices of lime just to make it look cute lime wedges would be more practical Okay guys, so this smells so good. We were taking photos and I just wanted to like go in there and start eating. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just give this a little test try. Guys, this is like restaurant quality. I hate to brag, but it tastes like freaking amazing. It's not too spicy. You can definitely make it more spicy and adjust it to what you like or less spicy. But yeah, it's really good. It's fresh um, with the lime and there's a nice amount of heat to it. This is definitely gonna keep me warm while it's like snowing outside. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And as I mentioned, I will have a blog post down below where you can find the full recipe and all the details linked there. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that link down below. And I'll also leave Vince's Instagram down below because he takes beautiful photos and beautiful videos. So I'll do that too. And now we're gonna go eat because I think Vince is really hungry. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.